Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Hey family, as you guys can see, I'm starting on my new beds and um, it's hot, so it's slow going. I have um, been trying to do a little bit at a time, but you know, we've been in the hundreds for so long that it is really hard to get out here. I mean, I'd have to be out here at six in the morning, which we can't make noise because of, you know, the uh, noise abatement laws. You know, we can't do anything before 7 a.m. and we're not supposed to do anything. I think it's nine o'clock at night don't quote me on that because I'm not sure I don't remember but um, we're only in the low 90s today but it's still kind of muggy it's hot and I uh, thought I'd try to get a little bit done while the kids are out here playing so I'm going to show you guys what I have done so far all right so as you guys can see I'm going with the corrugated roofing panels and the redwood so I am going to stain the redwood I don't know why I didn't do it ahead of time like I did everything else but um, I think with this heat, I'm just trying to really get everything constructed before the fall kicks in. And uh, I wanna be able to have all of my stuff planted by fall. And uh, the only way I'm gonna do that is to actually have my beds built. So I'm using the corrugated steel roofing panels. And these are two by four redwood this is two by two redwood. And I also have some smaller ones back there. The roofing panels, as you can see, are eight feet by two feet, which is perfect for what I wanted. So my beds are gonna be a little raised now and um, I don't have to uh, keep bending over so much or kneeling down on the ground when I'm gardening. Also, I know a lot of concerns that people have with filling beds that are this big. No, I'm not going to fill the entire bed with soil, which is why I have been letting my hedges grow wild. So at the end of summer, I am going to go and trim everything back at the same time. And all of those branches I will be using to fill the bottom of these beds, along with both those compost piles that I have out there and uh, it's going to help me save an awful lot on soil so i'm getting ready to go ahead and attach this panel to this frame that i built and then i am going to get out of this heat because like i said this is ridiculous it's crazy i was in las vegas for the weekend and it was actually cooler out there than it is out here right now Good morning family it's gonna be another scorcher today I had to uh, take a little bit of a break from putting the beds together yesterday as you guys know the uh, kids are always with me they're always out here playing and yesterday I had uh, I guess you could say a little bit of drama you know my little one my grandson he's always trying to do everything that I do and uh, you know I try to show him how to do things and he really wants to learn but there are times when, you know, he thinks he's a big boy, you know, he's four years old and uh, I was bringing them in to feed them lunch. And as I took his bike to put it away, he actually tried to jump over the panel that I was working on and he had slides on. And of course he tripped and he hit the corrugated steel panel and ended up cutting his foot. 
Well, when I say it started bleeding, that is an understatement. There was so much blood, I couldn't even tell where it was coming from. And I just scooped him up. I grabbed the first thing I seen, which was a towel. I clamped it onto his foot to try to stop the bleeding. I didn't know where it was. I'm yelling for my granddaughter who was already in the house because my phone was laying over on the ground and I needed her to get to the phone so we can call his mom and have her on standby in case I couldn't stop the bleeding. Well, long story short, I did find the cut. It was on the inside of his foot. I was able to stop the bleeding, clean it up, closed it off. And uh, last night he was taken to um, urgent care and all good. They did pretty much the same thing that I did and uh, he's already had a Tdap, so that wasn't an issue. But like I said, it did uh, shut things down for a while. So we're gonna be at 102 today. I'm gonna try to get a little bit done this morning before they get here and uh, get out of this heat because I've learned that um, I'm too old now to be out here working in this heat. <laughs> so anyway, I'll show you guys just how far I got yesterday. A mistake that I made. Yeah, I make mistakes. And um, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. All right, so this is the panel I was working on yesterday that uh, my grandson actually cut his foot on. But um, this is the mistake I wanted to show you guys. Do you guys see that little hole right there? Yeah, so I was being lazy and instead of using the tape measure to see exactly where that crossbar was in there, I actually just kind of, you know, felt down and um, drilled the screw in there and I actually missed it. The two by four that's in there actually cuts off about right here. So I now have a little hole on there. Not sure if I'm gonna patch it up or not. Well, of course I will because, you know, once you put soil in there and, you know, start watering and everything, I don't want it oozing out of the side. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish screwing this panel down. And like I said, I was almost done, but uh, he tried to uh, jump over that corner there. Ended up stumbling here. And yeah, after that, it was just blood. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this before they get here this morning. And hopefully my neighbor's dogs will stop barking. It was nice and peaceful out here, but something must be moving around that's causing them to make all of this noise. But anyway, I'm about to make my own noise. Perfect place for this guy. He was over here buzzing around my head, so I had to backhand him. And into the bird netting he went. So I'll have peace for a little while. So the other mistake I made is uh, putting the tag side out. I mean, it's an easy fix. Nothing a little rubbing alcohol won't take care of, but I try to just leave it on the inside so I don't have to worry about that. But like I said, not too bad. My little hole right there. Thank you. 
So these guys fly around me all morning long. So here's the second one who came through and uh, I had to smack him also. He's a little dazed right now. And his buddy is still hanging out over here. So there'll be another one in a few minutes. All right, where did you go? I came out, I could hear this uh, birds chirping. And there's a cat at my front door, so I didn't know what was going on. I just came out and one of the foxes was right here next to my tomato plant. So it just took off. I don't know where it just went to though. Where are you? I know, I don't see him. Okay, so I know he's nearby. So I know these guys are still out here now. Yeah, it looks like the uh, little bird bath is knocked over back there. Got some digging over here. What were you looking for? Hmm. Yep. Definitely back. All right, I found you. Just sitting there staring at me? Hmm? Can you not dig up the garden, please? I'm not gonna bother you. You guys see that? Look at it was up in the tree. So I'm a little apprehensive. It's going into my neighbor's yard. Because yesterday everybody starts sending me videos from oh yeah, it's in my neighbor's yard. Start sending me videos from a TikTok account of a woman in New York being attacked by a rabid fox. It just kind of walked through her yard and just walked straight up to her and just bit her and then it just kept attacking her. And so now I'm walking around in my backyard. Yeah, with a machete. Because, like I said, I don't know why these guys aren't scared of us, but... It's only one that came back. I don't know where the other one is. I don't know if something happened to it, if someone got it, and or maybe they separated. I don't know, but it's only been the one. As you can see, I haven't really been uh, doing a whole lot back here because these guys have been roaming around and uh, my grass and everything is pretty overgrown. So it looks like I need to uh, soak all of these rags again and get the uh, buckets out here with the vinegar again. It worked, kept them away for several days. 